You can draw this and procreate. During this tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create this colorful landscape, which looks like it has been made of felt. It's super easy. I will guide you through all the steps. And great news, we will be using two new brushes, which I have just added to the Procreate treasure chest, which you can get by going to freefromflow.com. Or if you are already a newsletter subscriber, just check the newsletter, follow the link in there to grab these new brushes. For this tutorial, we're working on a canvas of 2003. 300 pixels by 3000 pixels. And of course, I have linked a color palette down in the description. Oh, and just don't forget to share your result once you have followed this tutorial. Share it on Instagram, tag me in the image, not just in the description, so that I'll see your work while I scroll through all of these amazing tutorial results. But now, if you're ready, let's get started. Let's start by dropping in a color for our background. We'll start with this first color in the first row, and we'll just drag it onto the canvas. And then we'll go to one of the new brushes that I've added to the Procreate treasure chest. And that's the felt texture brush. And then we'll go and add a lighter color. Let's go to the third color in the first row. The opacity of the brush should be at 100% and let's set the size to 50%. And now we are going to create sort of a gradient. So we'll go towards the top like this very gently, adding some of that blue. And then we'll go even lighter. We'll grab that fourth color in the first row and go over here and go lighter as we move to the bottom using very gentle pressure. Then we'll go to the fifth color in the first row and add that here in that bottom section using very gentle pressure and creating that felt texture. Now at the top we can add a little bit of that darker blue. We can use the second color in the first row. We need a bit more of that darker blue. We can gently blend that in. Maybe a little bit more. Something like this should do. Then we'll make a new layer on top of our layer one. So we'll tap the plus. And then I'd like to go to the drawing brushes, the Procreate standard brushes. And then we'll use the Oberon brush. And then for our color, we'll grab this one. First color in the second row. The opacity of the brush is at 100% and I have the size at eight. And let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see the edges of our canvas. And then above the halfway point, we are going to make two these rounded mountain shapes, one on each side, something like this. We're just going to color them in, gives a nice texture. And the bottom part should be around the, like the halfway point of our canvas. So it will be something like this. And just color it in. I like the rough edges that this brush gives. And you can just adjust these mountain tops. Maybe make this a little bit higher. Now let's make another layer. Let's tap the plus. Let's create a sun. We'll do that with this color. That's the ninth color in the first row. And let's make a nice circle up here with those nice rough edges right in the center here. And we'll continue with our mountains. Let's make another layer on top of this one. So let's tap a plus and then let's grab this color. That's the seventh color in the second row. Now let's make another like hilly shape, curved shape across our mountain shape. Just something like this. And then we'll make another one on top. 
So we'll tap the plus again in our layer menu, and then we'll go back to that lighter purple, that first color in the first row. And now let's make another hilly shape right in front, a little bit lower, something like this. And don't worry about the bottom, it doesn't have to be tidy there. Next, we'll create some water. We'll make a new layer on top of this one, and then we'll grab a nice blue. We'll grab this one, seventh, no, yeah, seven, yeah, seventh color in the first row. And then we'll go over that lower part here, and we're gonna fill that with this blue. And we could actually just drop in the color here at the bottom. And you might have a little bit of an edge here, so you can just grab the brush again, go over here. So now we have a nice water area. Now let's create some more hills. We'll tap the plus for a new layer. And then for our color, we'll grab this one, third color in the third row. And let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Let's set it to 2%. And then let's first make a hill shape here. I just want to get that, that shape here first, and then we can make our brush bigger again. I want that nice pointy part here. We can go bigger again, 8%, and then color that in. Well, we need to be careful with this pointy part. So just color that in. And now we'll do the same over here. We'll make the brush smaller again first. And then we'll create a shape here. Something like this. Right along that water's edge. Then we'll make the brush bigger again and color that in. Now we'll make a new layer, we'll tap the plus, and then I'd like to make some lighter hills in the foreground. We'll grab this color, the first color in the third row, and first we'll make one over here. Something like this. Color that in. And then I'd like to make another one on top of it. So we'll tap the plus again for a new layer. And let's, let's switch color for now. Let's grab the second color in the third row. And we'll switch it back to the other color later, but for now, we need to be able to see the difference between these hills. So we'll make a shape like this. Color it in. And then I want some more hills in between. So we need to tap this layer first, layer seven, and then we'll tap the plus, and then I would like another little hilly shape here. Let's first make the brush smaller again, so we can be more precise. Let's put it in front of the darker hill. And then go like this. Now we can go bigger again with our brush. Color this in. And then over here, I'd like another darker one. And for this one, I actually want the same color as that, but we can easily change that by just grabbing that first color in the third row and then just dragging it on top. And for now, we can use this color for this one as well, even though I want it to be the darker shade, but if we use this lighter color first, we will easily be able to see like the difference. I'd like to create something like this. 
just a curved shape. We're working with very simple shapes in this illustration. Let me rotate. Make a nice curve like this. And then, like I said, I want that darker color so we can just grab that. That's the third color in the third row and just drag it on there. Now let's start adding some felt texture. Let's start with the one on top. Well, almost on top, this one. Let's tap that layer and then turn on alpha lock because that way we will only be able to paint on that shape. And we can grab our felt brush again. Let's go to the treasure chest brush pack, use the felt texture brush, and then we'll grab that lighter color, second color in the third row, and just gently go over here and add that texture. Then we'll do the same on this one. So we'll go to the top, tap the layer, turn on alpha lock. First, we need to switch it to that darker color, first color in the third row, Let's drag it on there. Then we'll switch to the lighter color. And then with that felt texture brush, we'll go over here and add that texture. Then we'll do the same for this hill. Let's tap the layer, turn on alpha lock. And we'll first go over the one on the right, like this. And now for this one, we need another color. We'll use the fourth color in the third row. Now let's go over there, add that texture. Then we'll move towards the background to layer seven, tap the layer, turn on alpha lock, and then go over the layer to add that gentle texture. Then for the water, let's go to the water layer, tap that layer as well, turn on alpha lock, then grab a lighter blue, this one. That's the sixth color in the first row. And let's add that texture. Now let's move on to our mountains. Let's start with this layer. Tap it, turn on alpha lock, and then grab this lighter purple, second color in the second row, and go over there. And we'll do the same for this one. Let's tap that layer, turn on alpha lock, and then go over. And then for the darker purple one, this one, tap it, turn on alpha lock. And for this one, we need this color. That's the eight color in the second row. And let's add that texture, very subtle. And then I'd like to add some snow to our mountains. Let's tap this layer first, then we'll tap the plus, and then we'll set this layer to clipping mask. That way, whatever we draw here, it'll only show up on that mountain. So let's grab our Oberon brush again. Let's go to recent and then grab our Oberon brush. Then let's grab this color. That's the fifth color in the second row. And then let's make a shape like this, and on this side as well. And now we got this, and now on this layer we can use alpha lock again. Let's tap it, and then let's grab, let's grab another brush. Let's grab the blotchy felt brush from the treasure chest, and then let's grab this light color, sixth color in the second row. Now let's go over here. Our first opacity is at 100%. Let's set the size to 25. Then let's gently go over here and add a bit of that texture. Then let's go back to our sky. Let's go to this layer. I'd like to make the bottom area a bit lighter. Let's grab this color again, fifth color in the first row. And then let's grab the felt texture and now let's make this bottom area a little bit lighter. It's easier to judge once you have like the entire landscape. Let's go for this. Then let's go to our sun. Over here, let's tap that layer, turn on alpha lock. And then for our color, let's grab this one, ninth color in the first row. 
And for the brush, let's use the blotchy felt brush. And I'll gently go over here and add some of those blotches. Then let's add a layer on top. Let's tap the plus and then set this layer to clipping mask so that whatever we do, it'll only show up on our sun. Then we'll tap the N and set this layer to screen. So we can still use the same color, but it will end up looking lighter. And let's make the brush a bit smaller, perhaps 15%. And let's add a bit of a lighter edge, the top left. Let's make the brush even smaller, 5%. And let's add some of these blotches. Maybe a little bit bigger, 10%. Just some blotches. And then if you want it to be more subtle, you can just tap the S, lower the opacity. I'll go for 70%. And then once you're happy and you want to save layer space, you can pinch these two together like this. And I also want to add some stitches and I'd like to use another brush for that. I'd like to go to the inking brushes also Procreate standard brushes. And I'd like to use the Tinder box over here. And the opacity of the brush should be at 100%. And let's set the size to like 20. Then for the color, we can use that darker orange. That's the eight color in the first row. And then we can add some very subtle stitches around the edge. Just something like this. Then we'll go to our sky layer and then we'll tap the plus. And we don't need clipping mask here since this entire uh, layer is filled. We don't need to be afraid of going outside of the edges. Then we'll tap the N and set this layer to multiply, which is great for adding shadows. And for the color, let's just grab this this blue second color in the first row. And for our brush, let's go all the way up to our recent brushes and grab the blotchy felt brush. Now the opacity is still at 100%, the size at 10%. And then we'll go along this edge, the lower right, the right side and bottom side. And we'll also go along these mountains very gently, adding a bit of a shadow here also on the right side. And now let's lower the opacity a bit. Let's tab the M, slide to the left, and set it to 50%. Now we are going to repeat the same kind of steps for the other layers. Let's go to this one, for instance. Let's tap the plus, set that layer to multiply by tapping the N, scrolling up. And this time we'll just grab the purple color, first color in the second row. And we'll add a bit of a shadow underneath this area. Imagining that that part, that patch of felt is on top of this one. And also for this area. So just go along, add a bit of an edge. And you can play around with the opacity by tapping the M, sliding to the left. Let's set it to 75% for instance. Now let's do the same for this layer. We'll tap the plus, set that layer to clipping mask, then tap the M and scroll up to multiply. And this time we'll grab a darker color. We'll grab this one. That's the seventh color in the second row. And I'll go along this edge. And then again, lower the opacity a bit. Set it to 75%. And actually, once you're happy and if you want to save layer space, then of course you can merge the layers together. Now let's go to this one. 
tab the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask, tab the end, and scroll up to multiply. Then we need the light purple again, first color in the second row, and add that along the edge of the water here. Now we need some stitches, and let's just place them on top of these layers. Let's tab the plus. Then for the brush, we need the tinderbox brush again. And for the color, let's, let's first grab this one. That's the eight color in the second row. And let's use that along this edge. Use very light pressure. Add these stitch lines over here as well. Along all the edges between the different colors. So this one is stitched to that darker area. And then for this area, we can pick this shadow color and use that for these stitches. And over here. I also want some stitches on the snow area. Let's grab a color for that. We can use this one, fourth color in the second row. And again, we'll just go along the edge. And over here. Now let's move on to our hilly shapes. Let's go and let's move to this layer. Let's tap the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask. And let's first add some lighter patches. Let's tap the end, set this to screen. By the way, once you're happy with your mountains, you can pinch these layers together from this layer two up towards the stitches. That will save some layer space. But of course, you won't be able to unmerge them later. I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. I just want to give you a quick reminder that if you want to follow even more tutorials, like 150 or maybe even 200 by now, extra Procreate tutorials that range from beginner levels to more advanced levels and with loads of different subjects, techniques, you name it, they need to check out my Patreon. It would be great to see you there. But now let's move on. Now on this layer, we are going to add some lighter parts. Let's grab this color, fourth color in the third row. And let's use the blotchy felt brush. And let's see, let's go over here. Let's make the brush a bit bigger, 30%. And let's gently go over here. Add some blotches, very, very gently using very light pressure. Now let's make the brush a little bit smaller like 8% now let's go along the edge, creating a bit of a light, light edge, something like this. Now let's do something similar for the hills on top. Let's tap the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask, then tap the N and scroll down to screen. Now first let's make the brush big again, 30%. Add some blotches. Let's do the same for the light area with this color, first color in the third row. Add some blotches. Well, that one's a bit too prominent. Now let's make the brush small, 8%. Go along the edge. And for this one as well, we need a darker color again. Fourth color in the third row. Go along the edge. And now we also need some shadow. Let's use a multiply layer. We need one over here on this layer 17. Let's tap the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask, then tap the N and scroll up to multiply. And now we need a bit of a shadow over here. 
Our Ds are overlapping. Might be a bit too dark, so you can just tab the M, slide to the left to, let's say, 60% or 61. And then we'll do the same for the layers on top over here. First, start with this one. Let's tab the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask, tab the N, scroll down to screen, and then let's grab this color. And for this area, let's just add a light edge here. And maybe a little bit of those bigger blotches with 30% in size, just a little bit. And then for the other one, we also need a layer set to screen. Let's tab the plus, then use clipping mask, tab the end, scroll down to screen, Add some, some blotches very gently. Then make the brush smaller again, 8%, and go along that edge. So I'm happy with these. If you can pinch these together, the screen layer with the layer underneath. Also for these. Just going to pinch these together. So now we have still have these different hill shapes, but the screen and multiply layers are are like attached or merged with them. Now let's go to this hill, the one on the right. Let's tap the plus, then set this layer to clipping mask, then tap the N, scroll up to multiply, and we can add a little shadow here. Very gently. It's a little bit prominent, so let's lower the opacity by tapping the M and setting it to, well, maybe 60% or 59, something close. And now we can pinch them together. Now let's add some stitches. We can do that on top of these layers. Let's tap the plus for the color. Let's grab, I think this one, third color in the third row. And for the brush, we need the tinderbox brush again. And now we'll just go along all of these edges and add those stitches again. So it'll end up looking like this. Now, by the way, if you are enjoying these felt brushes, they are part of my recently upgraded fabric brush pack. It's full of amazing fabric brushes that can be used for artworks like this one, for instance. And in case you want to grab it, I have left a 50% discount link in the description so you can have even more fabric fun. Now let's continue with the water. Let's go to layer six here. And I want to add some shadow there as well. Let's tap the plus, set the layer to clipping mask, then tap the N, scroll up to multiply, and then grab a blue. Let's grab... Let's grab this one, perhaps six color in the first row. And first, of course, we need our blotchy felt brush. And let's go underneath these hill shapes. And over here. And perhaps over here as well. And then let's grab that darker blue, the seventh color in the first row. And add a bit of a darker shadow right underneath here. I think this looks good. And now let's add some stitches. Let's make a new layer. Let's tap the plus. Then for the color, let's grab this one, second color in the first row. For the brush, we need the tinderbox brush again. And then let's add some stitches. And let's also add some random stitches here. And over here. And now we need a little bit of shadow right next to those. So let's go back to our multiply layer and then we'll grab the blotchy felt again. And let's go and grab that lighter blue again first. Sixth color in the first row. 
Let's gently go along that stitch line here as well. A little bit over here. And then let's also add some light to this layer. Let's tap the plus, set that layer to clipping mask, and then turn this into a screen layer. And then we can also add a little bit of light. This is a bit too much, a little bit too small. Let's go for 20%. We can just lower the opacity later. Let's go a little bit along that edge over here as well. Perhaps a little bit here. And then let's lower the opacity. Let's tap the S. And let's just set this to like 36%. Now all our landscape needs is some clouds and a little tree. Let's start with our clouds. Now if you need to save some layer space, like I said, you can merge some layers together like these mountain layers. They can all be merged together. And these water layers as well. So that saves a lot. And we can also actually merge these hill layers. And what's this one? That's the stitches. We can also merge those with the water. Yeah, that saves a lot. Now let's make a layer on top of our sun layer. Let's tap the plus. And for our color, let's, let's grab this one. That's the fourth color in the second row. And for the brush, we'll use the blotchy felt brush. The opacity of the brush is still at 100%. And let's set the size to 15. And now we are going to create some clouds also in front of the sun. And over here, just these rounded wobbly shapes. The top is more rounded, bottom part is more flat. And just create a whole bunch. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 5%. Gives you a little bit more control. And bigger when you need a bigger cloud, 10%. Let's make a nice variety. Maybe another one over here. I think something like this is nice. Now we are going to add more color to our clouds. First, let's tap the layer and turn on alpha lock. And then let's first grab this color, third color in the second row. We can add a little bit of a grayish color to some. Just around the bottom. This one. A little bit for this one. Then let's grab a lighter color, this one. That's the sixth color in the second row. And we'll just use that for the top area. So let's make the brush a little bit bigger. 19%. And just go over the top parts of these clouds. A little bit here. So the bottom parts should remain uh, that darker color. Then let's go ahead and use our smudge tool, the little finger, and let's go to the airbrushing brushes and use the soft brush. Opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is at, well, let's set that to 50. And we can use this to soften the edges of our clouds. But first we need to turn off alpha lock. So tap the layer, turn off alpha lock, and then go along the edges to gently soften some of them. You don't have to soften everything. And you just need to soften it a little. Just by tapping a bit. Make it look more fuzzy. 
Now we need shadows for our clouds. Let's go back to this layer, our multiply layer here, and we can use the blotchy felt brush again. And for the color, let's use this color. Let's go for this third blue color. And then let's go make the brush a little bit smaller, 12% or 13, round that number. And let's go along the bottom areas of our clouds. Making rounded motions. Just along the bottom area. Now we also need a little shadow on our sun. So let's go to the sun layer, tap the plus, set the layer to clipping mask, then tap the N and set this to multiply. Then we'll grab the orange color, eight color in the first row, and we'll go along this area, connecting to that other shadow part. That looks great. Now for a tree, we can place our tree on a layer on top of all the others. So let's go to the top, tap the plus. Then for our brush, let's use the Oberon brush again. And then for the color, let's grab this one, this light color here, ninth color in the third row. And I'd like to first make a line going down like this. I want to place a tree over here. And then I want to make a bunch of triangular shapes and to create a very simple tree. And the triangles get bigger as we move down. Then one over here. Just coloring this in by hand. And then finally over here. So it'll be shaped a bit like this. Let's move it around with our Move and Transform tool, set it to Freeform. Let's place it about here. Then let's tap the arrow again. Now to make it easier to add our shadows and highlights to our tree elements, I'd actually like to put them on separate layers. So what we can do is we can lower the opacity of this layer to like 70. Four. Then let's tap a plus for a new layer. And then let's grab, let's grab this color, this darker color. That's the seventh color in the third row. And then let's just create these shapes again. Start with the bottom one. So there we have that one. Then we can make a new layer on top, tapping the plus. And we can make the one on top. Just make sure by checking, just make sure that that bottom area is, is nice. You could just turn the layer off each time. So now we can turn this one off, then tap the plus, then make the next section. color that in and then again turn it off tap the plus and then make that top part so now we have all our shapes we can turn them all on like this and we can remove the bottom one we can slide to the left tap the lead and now we need a tree trunk. Let's tap the plus for a new layer and grab this color, the fifth color in the third row. And let's just add a shape like this, very basic. Then for our textures, let's first turn on alpha lock on, this, on these layers. You can tap the layer to turn on alpha lock or you can just slide to the right with two fingers on your layer to easily turn on alpha lock for all of these. Now let's start with the bottom one. 
let's grab our felt texture brush and let's grab a lighter green, a lighter shade. You can start with this one, eight color in the third row. Go over there, it's very subtle. Then we can switch to the lighter one, ninth color, and add even more. And we'll do that for all of these. So first, the eight color. And then the ninth. And do that for the other ones as well, like this. Then let's also use multiply layers and screen layers. Let's just make a layer on top of this one. Tap the plus, set it to clipping mask, tap the N, scroll up to multiply. And then let's use the blotchy felt brush again. You can stick with this lighter green color and go along this edge. And you can play around with the opacity, of course. We can lower it a bit, set it to 70%. And then do the same for the other layers. Tap the plus, set the new layer to clipping mask, tap the N, scroll up to multiply. Let's immediately set it to 70%. And then add a little shadow right underneath here. And now we have just one more to go. This one, tap the plus, set it to clipping mask, tap the N, scroll up to multiply, and set it to 70%. And then add a little shadow. We can also add some light with some screen layers. Uh, we can pinch these together, the multiply layers with the base layer. So we have four layers for the tree again. Let's tap the plus here, set it to clipping mask, tap the N and scroll down to screen this time. And then add a little bit of light here. And now let's lower the opacity to maybe 50%. Then go on to the next, tap the plus, set it to clipping mask, Scroll down to screen. Let's set it to 50% opacity, just like the other one. And add a little bit of light. Then onto the next one, tab the plus, set it to clipping mask, tab the N, scroll down to screen, and slide to 50% or 51, close enough. And now finally the top one, tap the plus, set the layer to clipping mask, tap the N, scroll down to screen, and slide to 50%. Then we also need a tiny bit of texture on our trunk. Let's tap the layer, turn on alpha lock, then grab this lighter brown color, six color. Then grab the felt texture and add a bit of that texture. It's very subtle. We also need some shadow on that hill over here. Let's tab this layer, tab the plus, tab the N, scroll up to multiply. And then let's grab this color, first color in the third row. And let's use our blotchy felt brush again and go along the edge, adding some shadow. Something like this. Now we can lower the opacity a bit. We can tap the M, set it to 80%. For these tree layers, we can actually merge them together to save some space. And now we need some stitches. Let's tab the plus for a new layer. And for the color, I think it actually would be nice to just pick a color from the shadows like this one. You can just hold your finger on the screen, grab that color, and then use the tinderbox brush again. And let's just add some stitches here. Thank you. 
and that's it there we have our felt landscape i hope you have enjoyed this process you can apply it to lots of other landscapes and designs as well of course don't forget to share your result and then i will see you next time for the next tutorial